top movie stars in the world, they're not straight cookie cutter model types that you'd see in magazines, you know, modeling, you know, men's clothing. They're all sort of unusual in some way. They're all interesting. In September of 1983, Arnold invited steady girlfriend Maria Shriver to an occasion he had long awaited. He had become a citizen of the United States. He says, I wouldn't live any other place in the world. My God, this is the greatest country in the world. You can do anything you want. He says, I'm going to take advantage of everything. After filming a sequel to Conan the Barbarian, Arnold went on a hunt for a new character, a new movie persona. He soon found it in a film that would change the course of his career. It was called The Terminator. When I was approached about Terminator 1, I remember that the first thing that I was approached for was to play the hero. The Terminator was a low-budget film by an unknown but talented director, James Cameron. Schwarzenegger said if he took the hero role of Reese, the guerrilla fighter from the future, Cameron had to be sure to cast the perfect cyborg as his opponent, someone who was cold, lethal, and machine-like. After I was through with this whole spiel, and this took like a half an hour of, of hyping, you know, Jim Cameron, of how this person has to prepare himself in order to be really true to this character the way he wrote it, he said, you are the Terminator. You should play the Terminator. I said, no, 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 wait a minute, the, the guy only has 24 lines, don't do this to me. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I want to play the hero. In Cameron's ingenious script, the Terminator is sent from the future to eliminate the mother of a yet unborn rebel leader. Arnold would make the Terminator his franchise character, one that he could play multiple times. Come with me if you want to live. Deep down inside, I knew that I could do more with the Terminator character than I could do with the Reese character because I just somehow clicked. It clicked and I just fell in love with that character and, and, and could visualize how he should act and walk and talk and do all those things. And uh, that's exactly what I felt like the first day when I shot uh, the, the first scene. I felt like I was the Terminator. Despite its low $6 million budget, the Terminator broke ground in the use of robotic effects. It meant Arnold had to endure hours in the makeup chair to make us believe he was living flesh on the outside, robot skeleton on the inside. When Arnold has to sit through a three or four hour makeup, you, you never hear a whimper, you never hear a complaint. Nobody works harder, nobody cares more. He is there to do the work. The futuristic thriller was cited by Time magazine as one of the year's 10 best films. It catapulted Arnold to superstardom. It's the magic art about casting. Why are some actors right for certain roles? And, and it, sometimes it just can't be explained. It just, it just is. And I think it was that way with Arnold. The following year, in 1985, Arnold finally popped the question to his longtime girlfriend, Maria Shriver. His mother, Aurelia, was thrilled as were some 500 guests at their lavish Hyannisport wedding. The couple honeymooned in Antigua, after which Arnold flew to Mexico to resume work on his new project, Predator. Arnold's jungle face-off with a hideous alien being was another box office bonanza. Schwarzenegger, however, was hungry to try something new. I think he had this idea that um, he had to find some other way to communicate on films beyond just being the toughest guy in town. Arnold had always been willing to make fun of himself and his image. Now he wanted to test his acting chops in light comedy. And he met the perfect director to make that a reality while on a ski trip in Colorado. It was right after I did the movie Ghostbusters and um, he sort of comes up to me in the lobby of some club and he says, you're that Ghostbusters guy, right? And I said, yeah, hi, I'm Ivan Reitman. And he said, you know, I could be a Ghostbuster. And I just sort of looked at him and wondered what he actually meant by that. And what he was trying to tell me is, look, I'm actually a pretty funny guy, and I think I can do comedy. 